For question six, we have an emitter stabilized bias in circuit. And we know that PCC is equals to 10 volts, VEE is minus six volts, and the base emitter uh, voltage is 0 0.7. The emitter resistance is 1K. And we need to design the values of RB and RC such that the quiescent end point of the device is five volts and two milliamperes. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, it means that from the key same point that first we have the CE equals to five volts and IC equals to two milliamperes. Okay. Another important thing is that the so the the gain beta here it's fifty. So it's no annotated at the circuit. So that's an important uh, information okay so if we know ic it should be two milliamperes we can calculate the emitter current and the base current using beta right or alpha so in this case the emitter current which is equals to the collector current times Alpha, divided by alpha and remember that alpha is equals to beta divided by beta plus one right so if we substitute those values here we get that the emitter current is 2.04 milliamperes and we also know that the base current we could take like the difference between the emitter and the collector current but it we, which gives us something around, so it's exactly actually 40 micro amperes. So we know all the currents that we have here. Now, if we take, we know the value of the emitter resistance, we know the value of VEE, right? So if we take VE, which is the voltage here at the emitter, minus VEE, which is the voltage here at the other terminal of the RE, that should be equals to the value of RE times the current that's flowing through uh, the emitter resistance, which is IE, right? So from this one here, we can actually calculate VE, right? So VE is going to be equals to those 2.04 milliamperes right times 1k that's the value of the uh, emitter resistance plus VEE which means it's plus minus 6 volts right so this gives us an emitter voltage that it's equals to minus 3.96 volts right uh, and we also know that VBE so VB minus VE is equals to 0 0.7 volts. We know VE here, we can calculate VB. So VB is equals to 0 0.7, right? Plus VE, which gives us minus 3.26 volts, okay? Now that we know VB, we can actually calculate the value at the base resistance. So because we know the potential here, we also know the potential here, that's VCC, right? And this is VB. We know the current that's flowing here, it's the 40 microamperes that we calculated using beta and the collector current from the QSN point, right? So we can determine what should be the value of the base resistance in order to get uh, that specific current flowing at the base, right? So we can calculate that RB is going to be equals to VCC minus VB divided by the base current. And that's equals to 10 from VCC minus minus 3.26 divided by 40 microamperes. And it is this is around 331.5 kilo ohms. So that's the value of RB. That's our first 
insert. Okay. Now, for RC, right, we know that, let me go back here, we know that the potential difference between the collector and the emitter should be equals to 5 volts. That's from the QSN point, right? So we know VE, we can determine VC, right? So VC minus VE should be equals to 5 volts. This means that VC is equals to 5 volts plus VE, which in our case is just 5 right plus ve which is ve in our case how much is it so it's minus 3.96 and this gives us a vc that is let me one point zero four right volts so that's the value of vc now we can calculate rc using the same approach as rb that's going to be vcc minus vc divided by the collector current that's rc which is equals 10 minus 1.04 divided by IC, which is 2 milliamperes. This gives us RC equals to, so it's 10 minus 1.04 divided by 2 milliamperes. That's 4.48 kilo ohms. Okay, so that's it for this problem.